This is a 1918 Cadillac Type 57 with military designation US 1257X. This car matters because it's the only intact, original example of a military Cadillac that was used in World War I by the American Expeditionary Forces in France. Of about 2,000 Cadillacs that were sent overseas, this is the only known example to survive and make it back to the States. The U.S. entered the Great War on April 6, 1917, and Cadillac became the standard car for officers in that war. Cadillac is the first production car to have a V8 in it. This is a Type 57 Cadillac. It's one of the first ones built. Its VIN number is A57704, so it would have been the 704th made. This car was shipped from the, from the Cadillac factory on July 31st, 1917. It got shipped to Inglis M. Upper Q distributor in New York City. He was at 62nd and Columbus Circle, and it's delivered to a J.H. Denison. This is the original distributor plate still on the back of the car. It's an amazing thing. Dr. Dennison took delivery of the car on August 9th, 1917, and he sails for France on August 11th, 48 hours later, with the car in the service of the American Expeditionary Forces, YMCA. And he did a lot of amazing things. And he's an intellect. He's a doctor. He has a doctorate in divinity, actually. He's an author, and he goes to France out of patriotic duty, essentially, to help the soldiers. Uh, the seats, you can tell, have been worn out in sort of a, a pronounced fashion. The driver's seat is clearly worn out, but also the rear right. I think that represents the 20 years this car was in military service. You would have had the driver and the officer sitting rear right. One of the commissions that Dr. Dennison went on was to create the leave system for the American Expeditionary Forces. We had about two million men in France that needed to be taken care of when they were not fighting. 26 leave areas were created all over southern and central France, and Dr. Dennison was one of the few people that actually went out into the field, picked the locations, and then helped organize them. Dr. Dennison got ordered to go on a very special commission near the end of the war. He had a very special passenger in the back of his car, Mrs. Theodore Roosevelt Jr. Theodore Roosevelt Jr.'s wife was driven in this car from September to November 1918 on an official army commission to create the leave system for the American Expeditionary Forces. And they were sent to Alabane, France, and that was where the first test leave area was created. Mrs. Roosevelt is an interesting character as well. She was rather famous at the time. Teddy Roosevelt had just been president, so she was kind of like Jackie Kennedy in a way. The French were completely enamored with her, and apparently she was mobbed wherever she went as a bit of a celebrity. Right here, we have a bullet hole, a very high velocity bullet hole, which was sustained prior to this overcoat of OD green paint. It's an ancient hole uh, at a very steep trajectory. The car was stationed at the Second Battle of the Marne at the front near Chalon for two months in the summer of 1918. It's very likely that it would have been shot by a German aircraft while it was at the front. I actually found a photograph of this car with Dr. Dennison named as the driver of the car in the photograph with the very first ordinance numbers US 1257X. Uh, I believe Dr. Dennison was a great American indeed. He was a true American and a patriot. In 1919, Dr. Dennison returns to the States and apparently he left the car with the military in France and it was absorbed through military motor pool. It returns to the States and then it ends up on the West Coast and surplused out in Southern California on January 1st, 1936. We're gonna preserve the car, we're gonna get it running, but we're gonna leave it basically as is. It's like the Liberty Bell. It's got a crack in it and the crack is what makes it special. So this car is being preserved and it's not being restored. I love history and uh, doing the historical sleuthing and, and reuniting this car with its provenance has been an honor for me. Cadillac, US 1257X, it's an American treasure. I'm proud to have been able to, to do this work to reunite it with its military history. I'm Mark Lassen and this car matters.